stem cells are um, unspecialized, which means they, they actually can't really do much of anything yet. They're not a liver cell, they're not a heart cell, they're not a skin cell, they don't do much. But why they're so exciting is because they can turn into any of those cells and replenish that tissue as needed, which is why there's so much excitement around stem cells. If we can understand how to generate uh, muscle stem cells called satellite cells, we are be able then to use the satellite cells generated in the lab and help them go forward in, in their differentiation so we can treat muscular dystrophy. Or if we can have, for example, um, understand the pathway for embryonic stem cells to a neural progenitor, we can use those to treat diseases like Parkinson's. The work that I do is we're trying to understand how the blood stem cell is capable of generating all the different types of cells which are in blood. In particular, blood lymphocytes, which are the cells that are in charge of fighting infection. Specifically, an area that I'm interested in is in repairing heart tissue that's been damaged from a heart attack. It's a schemous tissue, um, and it turns literally into scar tissue that does not contract and beat properly. And so if we can replace that tissue with viable heart tissue that contracts and can synchronize the heart, um, we can um, potentially save a lot of lives. My background is in immunology. And I have always really been focusing on development of the immune system from a hematopoietic stem cell. Um, and so right now the projects in the lab are basically focused around, around that. How does a blood stem cell differentiate into um, a hematopoietic progenitor or a T cell? Um, and recently we've been looking at B cells as well. Well, UC Merced has a very vibrant stem cell biology program. Uh, since the university is small, we have had the ability and opportunity, actually, to start a stem cell program from the ground up. Uh, we have recruited um, faculty that are top people in their field and brought them together under the idea that we want to study stem cells and each of these faculty are tackling the stem cell questions from very different perspectives. The environment at UC Merced has really fostered a new set of interests and a new set of questions um, for me that I would not have necessarily been exposed to or even thought about if I had been at another campus. The stem cell consortium, as we call it, has faculty from both the School of Natural Science and the School of Engineering, which are working together in the common goal of understanding stem cell biology, each of them bringing their expertise is in engineering biology at the molecular level, cellular level, or organismal level, into answering the questions that hopefully will let us move forward the field in very unique ways.